here we go. So, Carter, we appreciate you meeting with us today because I know that this is part of your school day. Yeah, thanks so much. I really appreciate it. There are some kiddos in this room that have decided to do projects um, that focus on your organization because you have come to our school this fall and talked to us and they wanted to be able to help you a little bit more. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, there's two groups of students. So does anybody want to come up from the hockey group? Okay, come on, Will. Andrew, do you want to come up and stand beside him at least so you can see who you are and then we'll get to the other group? This is Will. Okay. Okay, that's Will's shirt. There's Will. Okay. And this is Andrew. Hey, Andrew. They both play hockey for the York Devils. Okay. And do you want to tell them what your idea was? We were wondering if we could have a hockey game to raise money for your foundation. Yeah, that'd be great. I'd love to do that. So, who, what did you do first? Um, we wrote our we came up with ideas and then we wrote them down on a whiteboard. And then, um, we, like, worked on and then who did we hear from yesterday? Mr. Mr. Cleveland. And Mr. Cleveland is the manager of the ice rink. Oh, okay. And he offered to give the boys free ice time. So now they're checking with the coach. That's great. Yep. Pretty cool. And then we have a group of six students. You want to come on down, boys? Come on down. Okay. Okay. So some of these boys are going to know. Hey, guys. Okay, here's Connor, Brett, Dayton, Harrison, Nate, and let me see, Joshua. Hi. Hi, guys. One of you wants to share? Harrison? Okay. Um, we're having a flag football game at the um, Central High School Stadium to raise money for your foundation. And go ahead. And it's um, it's it it's at um April twenty sixth. And we are two thousand fourteen. Two thousand fourteen. <laughs> and um. Huh? So they had to. Who did you have to talk to in order to make that happen? Um, we had to talk to a couple of people, Mr. Miller, Mr. Trimmer, and and we're gonna talk, and we're talking to um, off, and then we're gonna call office, office max to see if we can get a paper donation to put flyers up, and we're talk, and we're trying to talk. To Mike Tomlin and Mrs. Romig. Awesome. And CNN. Yeah, CNN, CNN Fox Forty Three, WJL, and this is their. That's it. Oh, that's yeah. very cool, guys. Very cool. Tell them who's gonna sing the national anthem. And um, we have our music teacher running. I mean, singing the national anthem. Exactly. <laughs> We have our music teacher um, singing the national anthem, and it's at 3 o'clock. That's cool. Yeah. We have a question, though. Um, would you be able to run the clock at all by any chances? Well, yeah, I know that definitely um, I wanted to have my friend Brian come and take pictures. Here's Brian. Is that Brian Winkler? Yeah. Hi, Brian. Hi. Do you want to sit down for a second? So what are you going to do, Brian? Um, I was volunteering to take photos if you're interested in that. Would you like somebody to be a photographer? Yeah. Come on. Now, Carter, you're really interesting. Who is it? Nothing, just this hunt. Nothing, just let it go. Oh, I had her with my future. Why are you being Nothing, just can you just Um, 
I can't hear you guys. Where's everyone? I'm trying to do it. Yeah, so it's actually important to put my foundation. What? They're trying. They're soliciting businesses to try to get uh, monetary donations. So that's also, awesome. Yeah, that's so great. The raise is going to go to help you. So we're hoping. We know that the April twenty sixth, uh, you're going to be away, but somebody's going to come from your organization, and we're hoping that maybe May tenth, uh, you might be open. For the um. Well, I I know that um sometime that day I want to um get I'm going to get out of what I can I'm doing. So I'll be able to be there for at least like about a half an hour to an hour. Yeah. Did you see Will? Don't yeah. Again, Will. <laughs> this is really cool. And this all started when you came to talk to us this morning. How are you all on this? Wait, Carter, what class is that? This is it. What class? Okay. It's for my foundation. It's for an event for my foundation. So is there anything that you about extra about your foundation? Or uh, yeah, you my foundation raises money for kids in Philadelphia so that they're able to go and have an enjoyable experience and not just stay in a hospital the entire time. So we, we have been sharing that message. But we yeah, realized it was just for uh, the hospital in Philadelphia. So that's something new that we learned. Okay. Is there anything else? Uh, my foundation basically is trying to, um, we just want to make a difference in the lives of others and we want to make sure that we can make a brighter day for those around us. Well, our hope is to help you do that, Carter. Yeah, I'm very excited. Does anybody have any questions for Carter? I do. No? Shut up, Now we're being shy. <laughs> <laughs> if you give all of the money that you raise away or if you keep some of it for yourself? No, my, my foundation doesn't keep any money for, um, we, we, like, there's no paid employees in my foundation. It all goes to the kids in Philadelphia. So that's good to know so that when you share his message, you could share that as well. Are there any other questions? Okay, Garrison? Um, Did you hear him? Not quite. Okay. We were under, we were thinking that this went mostly for kids and their families with cancer, but he also said, "Is there any other diagnoses of children that you help? Maybe children with autism or I forget what else." Well, right now my foundation is solely for these kids in Philadelphia with brain cancer. But um, as my foundation gets bigger, I hope to grow it and expand it. Ella, you can talk really loud because it doesn't pick up very well. Go ahead, dear. So why, why did you decide to start your foundation? What? Why did you decide to start your foundation? Oh, well, I had brain cancer at one point, and I went to this foundation in Philadelphia, or I went to this um, hospital in Philadelphia, and after that experience, I realized that there was a, a need for these kids to get out and have some fun. Yeah, you probably oh. needed that yourself. Yeah, right. It would have been nice if there was something like this. Any other questions? No, I, I, I knew that Carter is a survivor of cancer. Did you realize that when you came to talk in the fall? Okay, good. Any other questions? No? Well, how does this sound, Carter? We'll keep in touch before okay. April 26th, and we'll fill you in on all the progress the kids are making. They uh, have just written, and we got the okay from Mr. Miller to send out um, what we're doing to some news organizations, because they want this event to be as 
big as they can make it. That's awesome. So, <laughs> with any luck, okay. it will be big. Yeah, that's great. I'm really excited. Okay, what do you guys say? Thank you. Yeah, thank you guys. Okay. Carter?